Hi guys, it's me Hot Wheels Magpie, back with another video. Sorry I haven't been able to post in a while, been a bit busy. You know, changing around my room a bit. I've uh, moved here, this here, so I've got the cars on there. Go through those at some point. The uh, wall has been painted. You know, before it was just uh, like wallpaper, that was only originally when we moved in. But, um, yeah, also got a uh, new bed, so I can put stuff under there. Uh, got a custom Demolition Derby arena over there. Got the draw put the drawers over there. That's over there, and that's moved <coughs> slightly. Got a bin in here, so that's, that's useful. Now I just need to sort that track out there, really. Uh, that's going to help me sort out the track at some point. And also got this uh, giant thing to put all the random parts in. But anyway, uh, what I came to talk to you about today is, of course, the Bone Shaker. Probably my favourite car. As most of you may know. <laughs> yeah. I also did a um a reply to Jack Sol uh, Jack Ultramotive's uh, Jeep train when I did the uh, the train with the bone shakers. It kinda went to plan. <coughs> Not really. But um if you're interested please go check out that video. Anyway, without further ado, on to the video. Right. So the first bone shaker I have is the uh Barger Bone Shaker. Which is like the uh off road version. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Oh, notification. And uh, Instagram. Uh, anyway, I have this uh, like bluey green version with uh, that design. Yeah. I have this uh, brown version, that orangey brown version. Some people call it bronze in the uh, same design. This has actually been in our Hot Wheels race off. And then got this uh, older red version. Now, I have noticed a slight casting change with these. See the um, back of this one, that's made into the body, and then the uh, chrome bit in the middle, is like a spare tyre or something, is made into the uh, interior and the engine. Whereas on this one, it's just all part of the base. You know, the base comes up through the chrome in the body, uh, onto that. Oh. So, a slight casting change there. Uh, moving on, we have the uh, skull shaker, little feature. Uh, has a uh, little part that pokes out on the wheel there that hits the arm, making the uh, head move. These are all from around the same time, so there's not really any casting changes. These two have the uh, same design on the side. This one's a different one. One thing I've noticed as well is um, this one's green with a yellow person, this one's yellow with a red person. This one's red with a grey person. I do not have the one that is uh, grey with a green person, unfortunately. So, yeah, enough of that. Next we have the uh, Turbo Shaker or Turbo Charge, I forget. It does not have the name on the base, which is kind of annoying. But, uh, yeah, it's basically a more aerodynamic version of the Bone Shaker with a, uh, a jet engine, which is kind of cool. But, yeah, there's also a, a red version that's come out. It appears to only have one seat in it though, which is kind of weird. Anyway, next we have the, uh, oh, what is this? Bone Speeder, which um, has the normal uh, small block Chevy in there with the uh, smokestacks. This is like the uh, drag version of the Bone Shaker, don't know if I said that already. But you can see the uh, drive frame back, in, uh, back there. One thing I don't quite get though, it's got, it's got the smokestacks up there, but it's also got two exhausts that come out there, which is kind of confusing. And also, why are the springs like that on the front? It's kind of confusing. But, um, yeah, again, single seat. See the little gear stick right next to the uh, seat. It's a little dot that appears next to the seat on the uh, phone. Or on your screens on YouTube. Um, yeah, small roll cage. And, uh, yeah, a little wing. I don't know why, but they didn't put a skull on this one. They did on all the others. Um, kind of confusing there, anyway. Alright, next up, we have the main event. The actual bone shaker. This one was made in uh, the, um, I think it was a 2016 advent calendar. Could be wrong there, please correct me if I am. Yeah, I've got the uh, closed roof version there. Got this, uh, like, racing bone shaker with the new wheels. In uh, blue, there's also a uh, red version and a black version. And also I have this uh, Forza Bone Shaker, uh, again closed roof, same as those two. <coughs> yeah, sorry about that, I had a cough for a while. 
But uh, yeah, it's also available in blue and yellow, I believe. Then we have this green open roof version from the uh, Mild to Wild series. I think it was for 2016. Could be wrong. But, um, yeah. As you can tell, I don't really take you know good care of my cars. You know, kind of just you know, use them for whatever. Oh uh, yeah. And these have uh, like closed wheels with no like holes in them. Uh, like cars like this that you can actually see like through the wheel. Yeah. This one, you know, it's all just closed off. There's that one, open roof version. Next we have this uh, new red one. There's also a grey one, I believe. Again, those are new racing wheels. Uh, next up, we have the uh, the uh, Hot, uh, Hot Wheels 50th Anniversary Race Team ones. In the uh, bronze and the blue, the uh, 50th Anniversary wheels. These two I'm actually uh, trying to take, uh, keep it in good condition. Oop. Need to try to drive off. But these ones are kind of weird actually, because as you can see on all the others, you know, they have chrome interiors, chrome skulls, chrome engines, and they have chrome like a uh, propane tank in the back, whatever that is. Whereas these two actually have a uh, black, you know, cro where the yeah, chrome is. That's kind of cool about that. Anyway, also on the subject of the uh, 50th anniversary, I have this uh, open roof black and gold series, Bone Shaker. I'm trying to keep this one in good condition as well. This one uh, has the, um, the gold and so there's a chrome or the black. Again, those are uh, racing wheels. So, uh, yeah, good to have that. And I have this one here. Now, uh, if I can just focus on that symbol on the side. I'm not going to say what it is because, um, you know, it's on Instagram, there's a little quiz, nobody's actually tried to answer yet. So, um, yeah. This is from a five pack. All you've got to do is go over to Instagram, click on my most recent post, and just say, um, like what five pack you think this car was from. Uh, speaking of which, while I'm here, I'll give you a bit more of a clue. And the five pack, there was this bone shaker here. There was this twin mill, three. There was this, um, Fast forward, and there was a Gazella GT and another car that was green with like a uh, footballs like over the wheels like wheel arches. Uh, there's a big clue for you as well, football. And um, another clue. Yeah, there's your clue right there. So uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Yeah, that's uh, my bone shaker as it is at the minute, uh, my bone shaker collection, and. Uh, uh, please subscribe to keep so um, you know I feel happy uh, about uh, doing these videos because at the minute I'm, um, I'm not getting much appreciation for them. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, that reminds me. While I'm here, I'm going to slow uh, go across here. But um, me and two fellow school friends are in a bit of a, um, a YouTube battle, which is kind of why I do YouTube. You know, if anyone asks. And um, there are two channels they need to beat. One goes by the name CGR4444, which I think he has like uh, 16 subscribers or something at the minute. And there's a channel called Tiki, which is you know, basically a gaming channel. Uh, Normally does uh, Minecraft, uh, Roblox, and Sims. And I think she has um, 26 uh, subscribers or something. Now, at the minute, I think I have about 12, so I'm in a bit of a war, you know. After the end of every uh, whenever or so, um, I'm going to you know, compare our, how many subscribers we have, and, um, you know, decide who's making the better videos. And honestly, I kind of need to beat them. Um, so, yeah, if you want to help me in that uh, competition, you can have a few free to help. All I'm asking you to do is uh, subscribe. I'm not. I, I don't mind if you don't turn on the bell notifications or like if you actually watch the videos. I admit we're just going on subscribers. So uh, anyway, that's it for this video. And um, yeah, please subscribe. You know, you can like if you want to. If you actually enjoyed the video. But uh, that's it from me. Camaro out.